Well, good afternoon and welcome back to the University of Birmingham's Open Day. My name is Ben Goodwin uh, and I graduated from the university a few years ago. I did a BA in history. Now, my first introduction to the university was on uh, an open day just like this. And I've come back today uh, to tell you a little bit more about life learning and indeed sports at the University of Birmingham. Now, we've been running live online activity throughout the day across our virtual tour site. Uh, we've, uh, we've got live streaming here now, right this second, uh, at our Bournebrook sports pitches, uh, where we're going to be focusing on sport at the University of Birmingham uh, and we'll also take a look around our accommodation in a little while. Uh, there's also live Q&A's taking place where you can quiz a current student on what it's like to study here. Plus you can view live tweets and Instagram photos. So, sports at the University of Birmingham. Well, sport takes centre stage uh, here at Birmingham, not only on the playing fields, but is a key part of our academic offering. We're one of the UK's leading sporting universities, regularly finishing in the top three of the books. That's the Birmingham Universities and College Sport Championships. Furthermore, the fastest people in the on the planet chose Birmingham to compete, complete their preparations for the London Olympics. Team Jamaica, including world and Olympic champion sprinters Usain Bolt and Johan Blake, rated us as their best pre-Olympic training base to date. Sport at Birmingham also encourages students to keep fit, lead healthy, balanced lifestyles and to learn a new activity. You'll never have a better opportunity to get involved, have fun and make, no make new friends than you will have here at Birmingham. Now, you don't want to hear me moaning on for about 15 minutes. What you want to hear from, and one of the best things that you can do uh, by coming to one of our open days, is speak to current students. So I'd like to introduce uh, Laura and Joe, uh, who do sport here at Birmingham. So thank you for taking time out today uh, to join us. First of all, um, away from your sort of sporting activities, do you want to tell us um, uh, what you do here at Birmingham? So we'll start with you, Laura. Um, I do postgraduate study. I do PG Dip Ed in physical education, so a year course here. So I'm guessing you want to go on to, to teach uh, uh, physical education? Yeah, yeah, that's the plan. Fantastic. And you, Jo? I study um, law. I'm in third year. Uh, now, you used to be part of the netball team here, and you now uh, take part in our Active Lifestyle programme. Do you want to just explain to us a little bit what the Active Lifestyle programme is? Yeah, the Active Lifestyle programme, it's um, a variety of exercise classes for all sorts of abilities. So you can do sort of dancing, toning, yoga, all sorts of different things. I first got involved because they offer a free trial week at the start of university. So me and a couple of friends thought we'd come along, see what there was to offer. And ever since we've loved it, it's just great fun, great atmosphere and just a great workout. So what kind of things do you do at the moment? Um, there's all sorts of classes, so one of my favourite would probably be Body Attack, which is a cardio workout which focuses on like your strength and your stamina, but aside from that it's just the, the instructors really motivate you and push you and there's a great soundtrack and we've come out sweating and disgusting but everyone's sort of laughing and it's just a great, great workout really. So away from a sort of active lifestyle, if, if people want to join a, a team here, I mean we've got the hockey team playing behind us at the moment, um, how, how easy is it to get involved in a team here at the university? It's so easy, um, there's like um, 52 clubs at the university so wow. to get involved in, so normally at the start of the year we've got a sports fair where all the stalls are set up with all the different sports and you can come along, see what sports there is to offer, speak to some of the coaches, speak to some of the players, see what you fancy, sign up. And then you can come along to some of the training sessions and to really get involved. Now, you, you, you probably can't believe it because of my wonderful physique, but I'm, I'm more of a, a casual sports player. So, uh, you know, if I didn't want to represent the university at, at such a high level, um, is there ways for people like me who are just kind of interested in having a kick about with mates? Um, can, 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 we, can we do that? Can we get involved in sport, sport that way? Yeah, there's loads of different things you can do. There's a just play scheme where you can just book um, a badminton court or a squash court and get involved with a couple of friends there. There's try sport where if you want to try a different sport but you don't want to do the competitive element, you can come along, develop some skills and see what that's got to offer. And there's intramural as well, which is a team where you bring get a team together, whether it's your friends, society or your course friends, and you come together and play in a friendly league against other courses and it just takes away the competitive element but it's still a great laugh and meet lots of new people. And I suppose as well if you enjoy watching sport there's loads of opportunities here as well isn't there? Yes especially on a Wednesday there's a big sports day where everyone's sports going on all across the university everyone's playing different sports so you can just go along and support your friends support course friends support people that you're just interested in watching the sport. And what, I certainly, you know, from my experience, one of the big highlights is Explosion as well, isn't yeah. it? So just tell us a little bit about that. Um, Explosion calendar. is coming up in a couple of weeks, which is a big American football game. Um, it's one of the biggest, it's the biggest one outside of Wembley, so pretty big. 
um, scene. It's got cheerleaders playing, you've got the dance side to come along. Um, just a really great atmosphere. Over 2,000 of the university come along and all get together and watch and support the, the side. And hopefully we'll win again this year against Nottingham Trent. Fantastic. And there's fireworks as well, yes, isn't there? Yes, there's fireworks. Love the fireworks. And I love the fireworks. Bar and drinks. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> Sign me up now. So, um, just tell us, um, you know, your, your sort of um, enjoyment and participation in sport here. How, how has that enhanced your, your time at the University of Birmingham? Um, I'd say it's one of the best parts of being at the university. It's just all my friends and I live with the housemates that I've met during, in the sport. So just get to meet so many new different people. Um, the social side of it's great. Nights out, just socialising together and just the whole team atmosphere and you just really develop... It's a great community of everybody together and it's really made a, a good part of my university experience. Great stuff. And I know you work really hard on your course academically, but away from away from kind of studies here and, and your sport, what, what other kind of things have you got involved in while you've been a student here? Um, I also work for the University of Birmingham Sport as a media volunteer um, and that's just where I catch up with all the sports and what they're doing, what how they're achieving alumni and students and write reports on those and so it's a great way to see what everyone else is doing and tell everybody else, tell the world what everyone else is getting up to. And, and I guess boosting your CV at the same time. Yes, of course. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for your time. So we're going to move on to Laura now. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, you've played hockey at a high level. You've just received funding for Rio 2016, which is absolutely amazing. So congratulations. You. Um, plus you're one of our sports scholars as well. So what exactly is a sports scholar? Um, sports scholar is... Um, any, any student studying at university that's kind of competing at a high level in their sport really and it's just like the sports, sports scholarship program is designed to kind of help you achieve your best degree that you want to do as well as compete at a high level sport with all the training and fitting it all in together really. And you're, you're a runner right, is that, is that right? Yeah, yeah. I do yeah. sprinting. Yeah. Fantastic, fantastic. So what support is available here for athletes of your standard? Um, there's a huge amount of support here, um, whether it's from just advice or from going to nutrition, psychology, training, S&C, there's a whole range and you've also got gym membership and all the support is on site, it's really good. So just like a professional basically? Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Um, tell us a little bit more in, in general terms about your experiences with sport here at, at the University of Birmingham. Um, it's been really, like, I've done two sports, I've been lucky enough to do hockey and athletics here and like, as I said, you just get to meet so many new people and you get to compete for the university and it's just a great atmosphere and it's great that all the facilities are on site and so it's so accessible. And, 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 and how, sort of further, furthering that, that answer on really, how, how has sport really enhanced your time here at the university? Um, massively, like, I couldn't imagine being without sport like I'm the same I live two people I live with are both hockey players I've met through sport you meet so many new people it keeps you active keeps you fit and then like if you had like an essay or you've been doing all your hard work it's just a great way to go and relax and release energy so it's brilliant it's yeah and just give us a bit of an overview of the of, of some of the sports facilities that are on offer to everybody here um, there's a huge range up at the Monroe Sports Centre. You've got all your sports halls, your swim, your gym, um, and then you come down here at the Bournemouth pitches, and we've got the Astros and the 3G, and it's all on site. It's all in uni. We've got all the rugby pitches as well, and so it's all there for you. And there's a complete range, and you go and book in anywhere. And I, and I read, I think that the rugby pitch is regarded as one of the best in the country, isn't it? Yeah, it's really good. It's so it's really well kept, and where it is, and it's really good grass. So yeah. So. I guess really what, I, what, I, what, what I'd like to ask you to, sort of to, to wrap things up really is what does give Birmingham the edge in terms of its sporting offer here? I think not only just like the range of sports that it has but each of the clubs has a complete depth so whether you want to play like first team down to seventh team or just participating or just playing for fun it's got such range it's got every single facility that you'd want like for me I've got the athletic track hockey pitches it's got absolutely everything and also the support with the sports scholarship scheme or just from the clubs the support is brilliant and it helps you so much if you want to do your studies and sports so you can do both and enjoy both and I guess as well for somebody who's who's got a, a general interest in sport the, the advice is just to give it a go really yeah completely like just give any sport a go and you meet new people just there's no harm in trying it and there's so many to choose from and you just get involved in anything 
a bit windy there, a bit windy there. But thank you so much, both of you, for taking the time. I know you've got a really busy day, so thank you so much for coming along and talking to us. Um, so uh, we will be back. Oh, this wind is really picking up now. Uh, we'll be back at 3.45 uh, Greenwich Mean Time, broadcasting from our students' accommodation, where we'll be looking at more about what it's like to live here on campus at the University of Birmingham. So don't go far. We'll see you then. Thank you.